Welcome back to part two of our first day at Tokyo Disney Sea. If you guys missed that first part of the video, check in the description down below. There'll be a link there, and there should be a card up in one of the corners up here so you guys can click on it and check out that video. We first arrived at Tokyo Disney Sea, and we got to see that vista of the volcano right there in the middle, and we got to check out all the different theming and go into all the different lands. We got to ride Sinbad, which was amazing. It was a lot of animatronics and there was a slow moving boat ride dark ride with a lot of animatronics and we got to ride raging spirits which was a really fun roller coaster with a little loop in it so make sure you guys check that out link will be in the description down below and now on to part two of our day at tokyo disney sea here is a weird flavor of popcorn garlic shrimp popcorn so you got the garlic shrimp popcorn garlic prawn popcorn garlic Prawn, even though it says shrimp right there behind you. <laughs> uh, what do you think of it? It tastes more like garlic than the prawn. Than the shrimp? But, yeah, no, it tastes more like garlic than shrimp. But it's good. It's nice. Yeah. I tried a little bite of it and I don't eat seafood and it wasn't bad. Do you taste the seafood? No. Do Look at the it? special popcorn bucket that it comes in if you get the popcorn bucket. It's Nemo. We're heading out of the Little Mermaid area into an underground area before heading to the center of the earth, which we can't ride Journey to the Center of the Earth right now because it's closed, but that's what the volcano is in the center of the park. And you can start to see some of the Jules Verne-esque design elements coming through. I like these lamp posts a lot. Holy macaroni. I'm super bummed that this is closed right now while we're here. I am also super bummed that this is closed. Look at the little drilling mechanism stuck in the side of the mountain. If there is anything that makes me want to come back, it's this ride wow. right here. There's a restaurant right there that's called Volcania. This doesn't look like it's man-made. Right? Like this looks like it was here and then they built the theme park around it. I cannot believe this. There's an old tiny sign here that tells us what everything is that we're looking at. There it all is. There's another one of those Duffy photo spots or photo points where you can put your Duffy on the little bench here and take a photo of him in front of Mount Prometheus. Let's have a look at the menu of the Volcania. Whoa, that egg looks intense. It's, is that a, oh, just regular egg, okay. Chef's special noodle, spicy tofu, fried chicken. What was that song by the Beats? Killer tofu. Oh yeah, from <laughs> Doug. Yeah. Here's all of the food up close for what they have here at the Volcania restaurant. That dim sum box back there actually does not look too bad. Yeah, I think so. With some shrimp, it looks like. Oh. Here we go. 20,000 leagues under the sea. Five minute wait. We're going down 20,000 leagues under, under the, the sea. sea. Here's what I think is interesting. There's the Nautilus over there. What's this thing? It's like a big cube. Maybe that's what we're getting into. This is where we're gonna go. こちらコントロールセンター潜水艇遠隔操作スタンバイ。さあ、チライト作動テスト。うん。タッチ。およびクルチコ。一定完了。まもなく、潜水船。潜水船に稼働。
Oh, here's one right around the corner. Oh, I just saw him. Oh, there he is. He must be like the king of the Atlanteans. Thanks, King Atlantean. Why is he waving to us? From what we've heard, this is the best theme park ride that a lot of people have been on. It's Journey to the Center of the Earth, but it is being refurbished at the moment, so we can't go on it. Ding dang. Holy cow, that is a cool looking front entrance sign. And unfortunately, this facility is temporarily closed for improvements. Look at the end of the digging machine making its way into the side of the mountain. We came into Nautilus Gifts, and it looks like you can get like friendship charms but that are pizza? Well, it's keychain, like you stick it, well, I guess it is a charm. Yeah, so you and four of your friends can have a charm and everybody will know. Best friend. That you guys all love pizza. <laughs> and each other. There's another golden Mickey here, and he is going down to 20,000 leagues under the sea. He's all dressed up like a scuba diver. We're gonna head down into the Nautilus galley because I want to get one of these Goiza buns. I think it's got a sausage on the middle of it. There's my goiza Here. bun. I'm so interested to see the inside. You know what the inside is. <laughs> it's like mince. Like a hot dog sausage. Yeah, that's not a sausage. What is it? <laughs> it's like yeah, it's just like it's like mince, mince right? Pork, right? Oh, how does it taste? It's good. Yeah, I'm gonna try it. This is what the inside looks like. It's kind of interesting that they call it a sausage because I don't. it's not what you would imagine a sausage looks like. Do you know what it is? It's, it's what's inside of a dumpling. Ah, okay. It's like that uh, steamed meat kind of. And then yeah. it has like scallion and I taste um, like ginger maybe. Or yeah. Something. I don't know. It's good. Like it, it is good. We can get an up close and personal look at the Nautilus here. Pretty, oh, oh no. Pretty neat. You can see the steering wheel inside. Here's another another golden Mickey. What is he? He has like jellyfish inside of a inside of little flasks. Horizon Bay restaurant. This is a character breakfast or a character restaurant. We're not going there. We're just going back down. This is Port Discovery. Going back down. Peeking through the windows, you can see that this is a character dinner. There's Pluto. And then you can kind of see Minnie off in the distance. Oh, I'm excited for this. We're gonna be in the autonomous boats. So these are like trackless boats that just kind of go all over the place. And you're just along for the ride. Whoa. There's two different sides over here. This is pretty fun. So we just got off of Aquatopia. It was a lot of fun. It was so cute. Yeah. It was like a Luigi's, the rock and yeah, roll and roadsters, but in the water. Yeah. It was it's really neat. Like this deep, and it's a trackless, like dark ride system, but we're not in the dark. And it kept like, kind of looking like it was gonna get you wet, and then it didn't quite get you wet. Yeah. So I think it's a, it's a good ride all year round. It's really neat, because yeah. it's, it's like automated. I got this sea salt ice cream manaka. I like I like mini on there. Oh, it's so cute. Can I take a picture of it before you eat it? Yeah. Okay. Try it. What's the inside look like? Mm. Oh, it's pink. Oh, it's like raspberry or something. Yeah. Ooh, that looks good. That's pretty good. Is it? Yeah. yeah. It stuck to my teeth. Oh no. <laughs> Is it is it raspberry? Yeah. Okay. That's good. We've all been trying I it. Try Mickey. Well, I have seen it. This I really like this. Yeah. I'm not really one for like fruit, like jellies. This is good. It's good, right? It's kind of like 
not super sweet. I think that's why I like it. Yeah. Yum. Dave got a shrimp bun that looks like a life preserver that Donald is sitting in. How much fun is that? We totally didn't get through the Cape Cod section because we went on the train earlier. Oh look, they're taking a photo using the little seat of their Stella Lou with the lighthouse in the background. Has there always been a volcano in Cape Cod? I think, I don't know, I think it just popped up. <laughs> <laughs> We're heading into the village store, Aunt Peg's, for Duffy and Friends marching fun. Oh yeah, it's all Duffy's. Look at that, they're huge. All Duffy all the time. All Duffy all day long. What? Oh. It's tambourine. But it's also one of those pouches for your pass? Cut, yeah. Yeah. That's pretty neat. It's very cute. How much is it? Oh, sorry, it is 20 bucks. 20 bucks, yep. not bad. Not bad. So, so 2,000 oh, yen. And now I understand these. I saw a bunch of people with these on and I didn't understand where the hat came from and I think it's, they're in like a marching band. Yeah. And this is the band, so these are the different hats that they wear in the marching band. Gotcha. So that's, I was very confused. Hey Jen. Yeah. Do you remember where you were during the great whaling disaster of 1840? Uh, whale? Did you just say, uh, whale? No, sorry. That's fairly <laughs> insensitive. I was not born yet, so I don't remember it. I'm you sure? <laughs> you sure? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you who does remember the great whaling disaster of 1840, Sailor Mickey. Sailor Mickey always remembers. By the way, if anybody's curious as to why there's a Sailor Mickey and we're in Cape Cod, there's a whole storyline to this area with Mickey being a sailor and Minnie made Duffy to keep Mickey company when he was out at sea. So Duffy is a stuffed bear. He is a teddy bear that was given to Mickey by Minnie to keep him company. There's a Duffy meet and greet area here. Very popular. But you know who would wait the 50 minutes? Golden Sailor Mickey. I almost called him Duffy. <laughs> I wanna, maybe, maybe when we come back to this park, we can meet Duffy. Yeah. Maybe we can come like really early and just run straight to the back. This will be like our Pandora. <laughs> yeah. It's very picturesque here with the High Tower Hotel off in the distance. The volcano started making noise. So we got something really strange. This is a sausage. So there's like a real bone in it, but I don't think it's a bone of this sausage. No. I think they shoved another bone in there. I think it's a chicken bone. Is it a real bone or is it plastic? I think it's a real bone. Hmm, we'll give it a taste. Let's see if it tastes how we think it would. Is there a bone in the Oh my god. Did you bite the bone? No. What was that? That was the, the sausage. Oh, like the snap? Is it crunchy? Yeah. What? That was, listen to this. Let me look at the inside of that sausage. What is that? That's just like the- Spices? Yeah. Oh, okay. This is, this is intense. So crunchy. It really is. <laughs> what is it, can That's I taste good. it? Yeah. It's good, right? Yeah, it just tastes like a- Tastes like, like a, a- More fatty pork sausage. Yeah. It has a lot of flavor, actually. It's pretty good. Yeah. So there's the end it's result. Delicious. There's my actual bone that was inside of the sausage. Wow, so strange. It really is. So then you just throw this away? Yeah. Okay. Dave found the blueberry popcorn, mm. and he said it tastes like candy floss, like cotton candy, and it really does. Yeah, it's really good. It's my favorite one so far. Out of all the ones you've tried? Yeah. But we haven't had milk chocolate yet. No, or honey. <laughs> or honey. Apparently, yeah. apparently that is or black pepper. Uh, black pepper. We have barely even scratched the surface of popcorn flavors in Japan. Too fishy? like rump roast. <laughs> Fancy fish do. They don't get any pressure. There is a Disney Easter display here that has all the characters dressed up in their Easter best. There's Clarice. We've got Chip and Dale over here. We've got Daisy. We've got Donald. 
And then we've got Goofy. We found out that this is supposed to be like a fashion show and everybody is judging you as you're walking the catwalk. Oh. We're back over at Toyville Trolley Park where Toy Story Mania is. It is lit up like Christmas. Ah, Christmas in May? Oh uh, yeah, it's like, what's happening? I like it. What? What's happening? With what? With Christmas. In May. Christmas is... Oh, it's starting now! <laughs> That took a lot of <laughs> finagling. Oh, hey, Disney. We found where you guys should move the Osborne lights. Yes! Right here. Wouldn't that be perfect? <laughs> New yeah. York, Tokyo Disney perfect. Sea. Perfect! Look at it! Done. Yeah. Perfect. And add maybe Sinclair as well. Okay. <laughs> Back up here at the front of the park. And I wanted to give you guys this view of this volcano. That is impressive looking. But the whole reason that we are over here is to go into Villa Donaldo. One thing that we found in Tokyo Disney is that they have a lot of tissue holders for yeah. sale. For cola money. For everything. For Winnie the Pooh, which actually this one's kind of cute. Um, they have an Oswald. Oswald. So it just kind of pops through here. This is the 35th. No, this is Small World. Huh. Oh, this is so cute. They have this toilet paper cover slash holder where you put it over top of your toilet paper and it holds another roll. There's so much really just like unique merchandise. Here. It's like very specific stuff. Yeah. It's interesting. It's a lot of home goods, like a lot. Yeah, like take for instance a mini themed Swiffer. Will soon come alive with the sensational sights and sounds of Phantasmic. <laughs> we have our spot and we're just waiting for Phantasmic to begin.
Phantasmic was interesting. It was similar to all of the other Phantasmics, but I completely was, different. <laughs> I think it was the best one. Yeah, it was really good. There was yeah. a lot going on. It was very difficult to film. Well, it was beautiful, and there was like the, the water sprays. I like how everything is rainbow here. Yeah. I think it's like the rainbow celebration or something is happening. Because they know. have all of this like happy as a rainbow merchandise. And I just think it was very pretty. All of the colors were really pretty. Well, I think what I like about it is that obviously we don't understand what they're saying, but we do. Right. Like you do know what they're saying. Right. And that's really cool. Because when he goes, imagination, huh? And I was like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so there's going to be a fireworks show here. We're probably not going to watch it tonight. Because what they do interesting here is because the parks are back to back, they have the same fireworks show. They like share the fireworks. Yeah, it's the exact same thing. Well, so if you guys remember, all the fireworks were to the left of the castle. I think that the reason why is so that it can be seen from this park. Yeah. Yeah. So it should be pretty interesting. We're gonna go inside and check out the bakery. Yeah. Maybe we'll see some fireworks as we're passing, but we're not gonna sit and watch the entire fireworks show. So we came in to the bakery here. Yeah. They've got a lot of fun stuff in here. Yeah, we've we already decided gotten... to get a sesame and cheese biscuit. Bread, sesame and cheese bread. Will you get me one of those chocolate croissants? This? Yeah. That looks good. I wanna show you guys this. They don't really have sugar for your coffee. They have these little containers of gum syrup. It's like sweet water almost. It's like simple syrup, kind of, I think. Fireworks are just now starting. 
or trying to find a seat. This is very confusing. I think the fireworks are over there. So we're in completely the wrong spot to see them. They are kind of over top of the hotel. This is interesting. Well, I liked watching the fireworks from here better. I did too, actually. They were closer and they were much bigger. It made more sense here. Like where they were located, they were more centrally located. It looked better. But they were confusing to find though. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's the volcano. They were over there. Yeah. It's kind of a weird spot for But them. we were getting our, our pastries and a cast member saw me and Steffi looking confused. We were like, where, where? And he's like, come, come. And he like grabbed us and took us over to where they were. So it was really cool. So to give you an idea of where the fireworks are from the entrance of the park, which is right there. And we turn completely 180 degrees. That is the volcano where we watch Fantasmic and the fireworks are over there to the right. I'm sorry I didn't show you guys the inside of the cheese bread, but that was actually really good. It had a crust on the outside and it was soft on the inside and then it just had a little layer of cheese, like cheddar cheese. It was really good. It was like the most, I think, American thing that I've eaten. It was just bread and cheese. <laughs> Sounds good. It was delicious. I had a chocolate croissant and it was basically like a chant. Uh, it was basically like a croissant that it was wrapped around a stick of chocolate. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, that sounds good. Like you guys, I don't know if you guys remember, but sometimes we make pigs in a blanket mm -hmm. by wrapping a hot dog in a croissant. Yeah. It's just like that, but with chocolate. Ooh, we'll have to make that when we get home. Yeah. <laughs> so that was it. That was the end of our first day at Tokyo Disney Sea. Yeah. A lot of fun. I felt like this was more of an eating trip. I, I was just talking to Steffi about that. I said, even though the two rides that we were most excited for are closed, um, we had a lot of really good food. Yeah. And it was fun trying everything. Because it was stuff that we obviously cannot get at home. So it was really neat just to see how everything tastes here. Yeah. And so with that being said, we are off. And we will see you guys tomorrow. And now, now it's time, time to pay, pay the, the price. price.